there, Marshalls. No, it's another good, 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 good day. No, and today we will be unboxing this bad boy right here, which is the Black Mamba LS05 Ancient Leader Oversized Studio Series Grimlock. No, from the movie franchise Transformers Age of Extinction. If you still remember, no. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I got this from Lazada no 1010 no? last October 10. If this is purchased from an Accenture voucher no so thank you Accenture no so this is literally 100% free. So we yep, have here it is no and then let's take a look it's packaging no so right here you have your illustrations of both the Tyrannosaurus Rex form and the robot formation so that's it and on the side you have some wordings right Hi, some yeah, some wordings right here, and then the illustration of the Tyrannosaurus form that extends to the back of the box, and then on the other side you have your the Tyrannosaurus blah blah blah. Then okay, the packaging seems nice, no? so let's open it straight away so actually I'm expecting a window right here no, where you can uh, literally display it no, without removing it from the box but suddenly it's not available for this one so yep that's quite disappointing and let's pull out the actual toy so the toy uh, right uh, after you unveil it from the box you will see a plastic a hard plastic covering no, to, to protect it from you know scratches and something when the box is damaged like that so let's open it okay the inclusions are its main weapon no, in the movie also the wrecking ball and then you have your what is this ah the i don't know what this is let's find out later and then grimlock himself So take a look, no, it's quite heavy, I, I don't have an actual weighing scale, but uh, it's solid and it's heavy, no. Actually, if your kid will be like throwing this, I think it will not uh, be worn out like easily, no. So, yep, you have your, uh, let's take a look at it closer, no. So, you have that semi-glossy finish, no. With, which makes it like an ancient warrior like that no so yep and then I think uh, its eyes are lighting up oh yeah it's lighting up as you can see 
and then you may put the horn up no so that's the main robot formation no okay so before we dive right into the transformation no to the T-Rex let's touch some points first no so in the box the manual is also included no so that you will know how to transform it but suddenly it has no directions as to how you can transform it from the T-Rex to the robot no? uh, backwards no? so <laughs> let's figure it out later then I just also wanna touch some points right here no so first of all it's its main weapon no so I think this will also serve as the tail of the T-Rex later no but the spikes no can be folded no so you, uh, you can unveil it once it is in its robot form and also like I said a while ago, the eyes are lighting up, no? And you have your switch at the back of its head. And also, this one is removable and, yeah, attachable. Then, you have your articulations, no? So... I think the articulations are pretty limited but it's uh, uh, already playable no so you can fairly move its shoulder joints no but not to the extent because at the back uh, it will hit the horn of the T-Rex no so it's up until to this only not 360 no so yeah that's the limitation that's on the uh, right side as opposed to the left side I think it's not full 360 but you can move it somehow like 90 degrees no? so but not a full 360 as well and then on the elbow no you have your fair amount of articulation right there so you can fold it and then on the other side that's that's the limitation on the other side now you have to lift the hands of the t-rex no before you can uh, move the articulation of the left elbow and then on the legs it's because of this armor right here no so the movement is quite limited only no so it you can do a little walk right there, but not not to the full extent like kicks or similar movements no? and then on the knee no? knee flexion is yeah quite decent no? so you can fully bend the knees no? so like a normal action figure and then what else the the head no you can twist it sideways but not to the full extent like 180 degrees no because again it's because of the armor no that it's hindering it from articulating 180 degrees or even 360 degrees no so that's it for the articulations no and then also for the fingers no on the right side you can fairly uh, move the fingers no independently and then the thumb right there no so i think it can hold the the weapon from both sides so yeah that's it and then on the left side this is much more articulated no? because you can fully open the fingers itself no? 
yeah that's it and that's pretty much for the articulations so now let's go right straight to the transformation So we'll dive right in to the transformation to the Tyrannosaurus. So here it is from the back, from the side. Okay. So we should set aside this first, as well as this one. Then, what we're going to do next is bring the tail and twist the arm like so. Then, put it upward to make the tail and then split this into half. then bring this out the next one we have to pop the chest plate and fold the horn in then tuck the head inside of the chest for the rib cage then lock it up like so then what you're going to do next is we will split the legs and pull this part right here we will do it on the other side as well to, to exert a little amount of force in order to remove it from the socket and then a little twist to do the trick then we will go straight to the left arm then we should fold this fist so close fist and bring out this uh, lower jaw of our uh, dinosaur and then do a little twist like so and bring out the arms of the T-Rex right there and then fold this armor right here then next one is we should tuck this arm right in uh, right on the side of the chest or rib cage no? so you should hear a click like that and then what you're going to do is you need to put this on the shoulder plate no? that okay and you should tuck it in for it to be secured 
So that's your uh, front part, the body of your T-Rex. And then what we're going to do is pull this shoulder plate right there. Then it will serve as your uh, the upper part of the T-Rex here. And we're going to do next is fold it right here. Then as you can see no we have two sockets in here no that uh and this ones will go straight right there no? but before that get the tank of the t-rex and attach it to the lower part of lower part of the jaw right there Okay, snap it in and make sure that they will boot they will both shoot in the sockets. Okay, there you go. That's the face of our T-Rex. And then for the legs uh, see see this socket right here no you will slightly tilt the legs and shoot it right there on the socket okay then see this socket right there this will go right into here as well and you will hear a click like that and yep that's your upper left leg now we will do a slight bend on the knee because it can't be straight uh, it will not be T-Rex without that that fold onto the legs and then about 90 degrees will do and then what you're going to do it next is twist the foot like so and then tuck this one inside that or inside the terminal right there yep and then next we will do the same thing on the other side no so tuck it inside and then do a little bend on the knee And then twist the foot right there and insert it on the terminal right there there you go then click it in And then we should fold it the the leg leg plate fold it like that yes okay and then we're going to do next is the 
get our weapon so yes we have to remove the spikes like so set it aside then we have to fold this part to make it shorter and then you will hear click then get your Tyrannosaurus Rex and what we're going to do is clip it under so you'll see there's a port there we will slide it like so and clip it like that okay next one this back armor we should slide it uh, we should tilt it um, I should say backwards you know, because it's all the legs are already twisted and then fold it slightly to cover that uh, weapon right there the part of the weapon right there then just fix the legs yeah. and then for the final touch you see the two spikes we will place it um, as you can see no uh, it is quite folded no we will just straighten it up like so and see this part right here the indented part we will insert it right and see this terminal right here no so for port this one will go right into this one There you go. Yeah, there you go. And right side as well. Unfold it. Straighten it. And this indented part right here will go into here. Okay, so yeah, there you have it, the Tyrannosaurus Rex formation. Okay, there you have it. side side bird's eye view under and back and its special feature would be its eyes are lighting up as well and also there's some articulation little articulation in here no so you can close and open its jaw no? so like a real tyrannosaurus 
also in this formation no you can smoothly rotate the arms but as for the legs I think it's quite limited no onto this movement but yep I think it's pretty decent no as for the tail movement you cannot move it much because of the weapon that's clipped in so yeah I think I can I guess that's it